HIPAA Awareness for Business Associates Legal Notice and Disclaimer Course Description This course provides information about the Health Insurance, Portability, and Accountability Act of 1996, HIPAA, and the ERA HITECH updates of 2009-2010 to HIPAA from a business associate viewpoint. Length Table of Contents Lesson 1 Introduction to HIPAA Le Get ready. You are now ready to start the course. Press the Start Lesson 1 button below to begin your first lesson. Lesson 1 Introduction to HIPAA Lesson Outline Introduction to HIPAA Lesson Description This lesson provides a general overview of the federal HIPAA regulations. What is HIPAA? HIPAA stands for the Health Insurance, Portability, and Accountability Act. It is a federal law enacted in 1996 as an attempt at incremental health care reform. HIPAA's intent is to reform the health care industry by reducing costs, simplifying administrative processes and burdens, and improving the privacy and security of patients' information. Experts consider it to be the most significant health care legislation since Medicare in 1965. Structure of HIPAA Regulations The HIPAA regulations are structured as five major provisions or titles. Title I, Health Insurance Access, Portability, and Renewability. Title II, Preventing Health Care Fraud and Abuse. Administrative Simplification, Medical Liability Reform. Title III, Tax-Related Health Provisions. Title IV, Application and Enforcement of Group Health Insurance Requirements. Title V, Revenue Offsets. The purpose behind these five titles logically fall into two major categories, Administrative Simplification and Insurance Reform. The administrative simplification sections are most relevant to healthcare providers, while the insurance reform sections are most relevant to health insurance providers or payers. When people speak of HIPAA these days, it is most often in reference to the administrative simplification section of HIPAA. Insurance reform. The insurance reform section of HIPAA has been in effect since 1997 and has changed the practices of health plans and insurers regarding portability and continuity of health coverage in the following ways. Provides limitation on pre-existing condition exclusions. Prohibits discrimination against individuals based on health status. Helps individuals to keep health insurance when they change jobs. Prevents insurers from imposing pre-existing condition exclusions on new members when they have prior creditable coverage. Guarantees that once employers or individuals purchase health insurance, those policies will be renewed. Insurance Reform Case Study Scenario Bill, a 37-year-old manager at a large manufacturing corporation, has been offered a better-paying job at another company, Acme Precision. His wife of five years, Nancy, has stomach cancer and requires costly, extensive treatment. Bill calls Stan at Acme Precision and thanks him for the job offer, but says he must decline due to his wife's medical condition and concern that she will not be covered when Bill changes jobs. Question. Bill really wants to join Acme Precision. What can he do? Answer. The insurance reform section of HIPAA specifically addresses Bill's situation through its portability and continuity provisions, which provides limitations on pre-existing condition exclusions, prohibits discrimination against individuals based on health status, helps us to keep health insurance when we change jobs, 
prevents insurers from imposing pre-existing condition exclusions on new members when they have prior creditable coverage. With the insurance reform provisions passed in HIPAA, Bill can feel comfortable that his wife's pre-existing medical condition will not prevent him from continuing his insurance from his existing provider or in getting a new medical insurance provider at Acme Precision. Administrative Simplification The Administrative Simplification section of HIPAA consists of standards for the following areas. Transactions, Code Sets, and Identifiers Standardization of electronic transactions and data required for healthcare exchange between employers, health insurance payers, and healthcare providers. Privacy. Safeguards for protected health information, PHI, in all forms. Security. Safeguards for protected health information in electronic form, ePHI. Administrative Simplification. The purpose of administrative simplification is to reduce cost of administrative overhead estimated at 0.26 of every health care dollar, improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the national health care system, reduce fraud and abuse, protect privacy of health information, protect patient rights, Provide the appropriate level of protection for the privacy and security of patient health information. Improve the quality of patient care via improved clinical data access. Enhance information availability for decision making. Reduce the vulnerability of Internet-based technology to security breaches. There are two groups affected by HIPAA, covered entities and business associates. Covered entities include healthcare providers, health plans, and healthcare clearinghouses. Business associates include all third-party vendors and business partners that perform services on behalf of or exchange data with covered entities. Era High Tech Updates of 2009-2010 Recent updates to HIPAA were included as part of the federal stimulus bill known as the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, ERA. Those updates contained in Title 13 of the stimulus bill are referred to as the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act or High Tech. Act for short. One of the major purposes of the High Tech Act was to stimulate and greatly expand the use of EHR, electronic health records, to improve efficiencies and reduce costs in the healthcare system, as well as provide a stimulus to the economy. To do that, it includes incentives related to health information technology and specific incentives for providers to adopt EHRs. Anticipating the massive expansion in the exchange of electronic personal health information, ePHI, the HITECH tech Act also expands the scope of privacy and security protections available under HIPAA, in addition to allowing for more enforcement and increased penalties for noncompliance. The compliance deadline for the new HIPAA requirements was February 17, 2010. Although a more detailed explanation will be provided in a later section, the list below is a quick summary of some of the major changes contained within the new High Tech Act. Enforcement New enforcement provisions, including increased penalties, a tiered penalty system, as well as a mandate that the Department of Health and Human Services perform periodic compliance audits to ensure compliance. Business Associates HIPAA privacy and security requirements now apply directly to business associates. Business associates are now included under the HIPAA enforcement umbrella and are subject to civil and criminal penalties for non-compliance. Stricter requirement for a business associate contract to be in place. Breach notification. New data breach notification requirements for unauthorized use and disclosure of unsecured PHI.
Expanded patient rights. Individuals now have the right to request that their PHI for a healthcare treatment or service not be disclosed to a third-party health plan or payer if payment for the treatment or service is paid out of pocket and paid in full at the time of service. Electronic health records, EHR. Individuals now have the right to obtain a copy of their electronic health records or to have it forwarded to a third party. Accounting of disclosures expanded to include EHRs. Prohibition on the sale of PHI or EHRs. Eligible healthcare professionals and hospitals can qualify for Medicare and Medicaid incentive payments when they adopt certified EHR technology and use it to achieve specified objectives. Marketing and fundraising. Clarifications on marketing communications. Clarifications on opt-out for fundraising communications. Penalties for non-compliance. The penalties for non-compliance are as follows. Non-compliance is a civil offense that carries a penalty that ranges from $100 to $50,000 per violation with caps of $25,000 to $1.5 million for all violations of a single requirement in a calendar year. Unauthorized disclosure or misuse of patient information. Under false pretenses or with the intent to sell, transfer, or use for personal gain or malicious harm is a criminal offense. Penalties for criminal offenses can be up to $250,000 in fines and up to 10 years in prison. Civil penalties are enforced by the Office of Civil Rights, OCR, within the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS. Criminal penalties are enforced by the Department of Justice. Note, penalties may apply to the individual violator, but they may also apply to an organization or even to its officers. Let's take a quiz to review what you've learned. End of demo. Thank you for going through the HIPAA Awareness Training for Business Associates demo. If you would like more information, please contact us at telephone 512-402-5963 or email sales at hippatraining.com. Also, for more information, please be sure and visit our Frequently Asked Questions page.